Though locked in tombs once lived by the carcasses of previous Vegalian traitors, their demise was far from over. The entire of Vegala Infinity was called to alarms and distresses. It was the chime of the emperors. They would talk among the lessers, and with them, the two cages containing tyrant and fate, all present were beholden to the powers above them as they would proclaim of the traitors not once but twice, trying to smite not only their own colony, but all of Vegalian kind. Before the gauntlet of punishment was to begin, however, the traitors were given one last chance to plead their words to those they turned their backs on. They would both quiver uncontrollably before laying their reasons on the ground. They would tell the people that they had been lied to by the deities, that there were many more truths to these lands. Planets have died and revived, and a new planet was created to simply be executed. They had felt Vagala needed to know before laying down their undeniable allegiance to whom they have shrined for so very long. This brings the citizens to a haunting silence as they look upon one another. But before they could think too long, the deities chuckled, chortled, erupted into a roar of laughter. They would speak to their people that tyrant and fate are about to be the cause of a deadly awakening to the innocent citizens of Vegala. They beckon that as easy as something is to give, something can be taken away. And it would be at the fault of the betrayers for what would happen next. It is with this that Hithistrus, Yondarth Atticus, and Wanderamite raise their hands. Demonic and deadly waves of energy forged into destructive fireballs. And just like that, they take aim at their land's sacred castle that contained their holiest Bible of knowledge. It was a sanctuary for all of Vegala to feel safety and comfort, to unite one another in a noble cause, holding the Vegalian Bible, which kept people protected, keeping a community of warriors alive and connected as one. But while their connection was strong, it is in this horrific and ghastly day of carnage, their unity was about to be tested. The fireballs crash into the castle. Foundations and bricks crumble to the ground. Flames surrounding the city. The Gallian people crying in agony as their beloved shrine falls into ashes and dust. Their castle had been destroyed. Ashes to ashes, this once proud temple of hope and prosperity became a desolate grave. The deities had let tyrant and fate out of their cages to be used as hunted prey. But the people of Vegala were too horrified, weakened by the lustful vengeance from power-hungry emperors. All they could do was sit and cradle one another. Families huddling up to be shoulders to cry on. Vegala weeps. But as one tear falls, so does the weight of what it carried. Tyrant stood with his people and chanted a harrowing and powerful speech before those brought to their knees. Do you see, finally? Have your eyes brung themselves to attention? Look at what they did to our shrine. Our people, beaten down and annihilated by who we're supposed to glorify. They have greater power to take more away from us, so long as we step out of line. Whose line is it to own? What order does this bring? It only tells us we were itemized and tied to the inanimate. But look inward. Look towards your others. There are no lessers here. We don't see lesser. When we stop staring at the castle that bound us, you realize we were the castle. And this is one castle 
that will never die. We can rebuild. We can repopulate. Just as quick as we can burn down. But we can never die. It's time we took back what is ours and rebel against the darkest monstrosity that plagues us all. You can either die along with the castle, or you can live as if it was never buried. Silence fills the air, and before all hope seemed to fade, more and more Vagalians would stand up, proudly, boldly, one by one would rise from the corpse of their garden, reborn, resurrected, and reunited. A loud cheer fills the air. Vegala was no longer bound by a shrine. Vegala was the castle that could never die.